Rumble. The important stuff. The important stuff. So now we're going to transition into the last fan standing portion of the podcast where we're going to talk about last Sunday's Royal Rumble. The 20... I can't remember which 20-something annual Royal Rumble. Uh, it was the... Hold on. Wait for it. We're just slowly it, scrolling. Wait slowly it, scrolling. We're at, all the way to the top. We're at information. We're at the... Uh, we're almost oh, at the information. top. We are. We we. Oh yeah. Uh, we're on the 2016. 20, 2016. 29th. 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 Royal Rumble. There you go. So the 29th Royal Rumble took place on Sunday. Um, this Royal Rumble being unique in that Roman Reigns. It was the one versus all. Roman Reigns as WWE World Heavyweight Champion entering the Royal Rumble at number one, defending the title in the Royal Rumble match. Against 29 other superstars. Um, yeah. So, Reigns comes out, and... Uh, well, I suppose, before we get into the yeah, actual match itself... Get, like, how, what, about, what about the... I don't want to go too, too much through the other matches on the card, but we'll, we'll touch on them at well, least very briefly. Let, let's touch on the pre-show. Okay. What was, the was, pre-show uh, was the... Mark Henry and Jack Swagger uh, versus Darian Young and Damian Sandow, which is nice because Damian Sandow is back to where he should yeah. be. Right. Back to the gimmick of the uh, savior of the masses. Yeah. Right. It is nice to see him that yeah, way. Yeah, which is friggin' awesome. He'll never go anywhere in the company, but yeah. it's nice to see him at least back. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Versus the Dudley Boys. Uh, and, and the Ascension. Ascension, which I'm not really digging the Ascension. Right. Which is basically because they're, they're, they're playing them off like Legion of Doom. Right. Which is, <laughs> like, why? I think they the, need to... I think I might have said this on you guys' podcast. Maybe not. Right. I, can, I still cannot tell if the Ascension is meant to, like, be serious or ham. Yeah. So I don't know whether or not I like them, because if they're playing them off as serious, I don't like them. Because it's terrible and it's cringeworthy. But right. if they're hamming it up on purpose, I kind of dig it. Mm-hmm. This whole like post-apocalyptic road warrior ham shit, I like. Mm-hmm. But I don't think they're playing it that way. I think they're just trying to make these <clears throat> badass Legion of Doom, like you guys said. Because, mm-hmm. I mean, Legion of Doom, let's be honest, they look kind of... It was a time of wrestling that's a little cheesy looking now, but they were yeah. badass. Oh, God, yeah. They were super cool. They you would right. never be like, they're hammy. But Ascension, it's like, mm-hmm. they're hammy. And, and this is the thing, like... With, with the Ascension just very recently went back to NXT for like one show or something like that. Mm-hmm. Got a huge pop. They're so over in NXT. Yeah. The NXT crowd loves them. Mm. Because like when they were in NXT, they were like kind of darker and more serious and like more serious and everything like that. And like and like they were having these kick ass matches. And so the NXT crowd loves them. Yeah. But then they pull them up to the main roster and they kind of goofball them out a little bit. Yeah, it's a shame. Very subtly, but they do it, and they just like the crowd doesn't <coughs> like them mm. because they're just kind of, kind of just hamming it up a little too much. Yeah. So that that match was uh, it was a fatal four way tag match. The winner of that match, Mark Henry and Swa- Mark Swagger. Henry and Swagger, the winning team. Those two people were entered into the Royal Rumble. Correct. Um, yes. So I, I guess I probably would have yeah. liked. Um, Sort of, what? It was all right. Yeah. I, I, I guess I probably would have liked um, Sandow's team. That's, probably that's to who win I was rooting for myself. Yeah. But I don't have any Fortunately, stock in any I mean, you, you need job guys and Mark Henry and Jack Swagger. I mean, both. Yeah, you kind of need cannon fodder yeah. in the Royal Rumble. Yeah. I, I can understand that. Yeah. Damien Sandow, I mean, he can go. Yeah, and Darian and Young, I mean, I, I'm not really overly sold on Young, but, you know. Now he hates gay people. <laughs> oh, my God. Gay, gay black people. Gay black people. Come on. <laughs> anyway, no, I understand, because Darren Young is, like, like he's a talented wrestler, because most of the people in WWE, WWE are talented wrestlers, yeah. but there's nothing... That sticks out about Darren yeah. Young. Outside of the fact that, yes, he's gay. And people are like, oh, look, he's gay. That's great. I was like, yeah, but it doesn't change his wrestling being, like, decent. But nothing yeah. more. Moving on down the list. Oh, pre-show match. Seven minutes, 58 seconds. So they gave him, yeah, they gave him, they gave him eight minutes. Although eight minutes for a fatal four-way tag match. Yeah. It is pretty... 
pretty weak. It's pretty. It, it's you know. There yeah. wasn't anything to this match. No, no. you, you kind of you want that's a match you want to give them at least double that time because you want everybody to be able to get in, everybody to kind of get their shit in, everybody to be able to look good. Yeah, and it's just sure. the pre-show. Yeah, and so it's like take a fucking take a Booker T segment out of there yeah. somewhere. Yeah, and I mean you can you can totally lose like oh god some yeah. of the desktop. Get, get rid of just... get rid of most of that panel. I don't like I don't like it. And it's not because I don't like the people in it. No. Like, I, I love Renee Young. <laughs> like, mm. Who doesn't love Renee? But <laughs> I, I've never, it's never been able to, it's never sat well with me. Mm. Because, like, I'm sitting there, right, and I'm watching this thing that's obviously fake. I know that's news to you guys. Oh, God. And I'm just mm. listening to people it's talk. Fake? I know. It's not weird. I just found out last week. Oh, bunch of dicks. <laughs> but I'm, I'm watching this thing. People talk about the results of a fake show. And I don't know. It doesn't. It doesn't do it for me. Yeah. Like when you watch like a real sports panel, like for like a an actual sport that mm-hmm. it's like yeah. that's fun because they're like you know they're talking about hockey or something and they're like, well, their defense is blah blah blah. This is just like I don't know it it the discussion panel never did it for me in WWE. No, um, and like you say, I, I kind of like the panel. <laughs> I like Corey Graves. I feel bad for Corey Graves. Yeah. Corey, th- that poor guy, like fuck. He had a you know had a real shot to kind of be something as a wrestler, and mm. then suffered whatever injury it was that he suffered that kind of took him out of the game. I'm glad that he still got a place in yeah. that company. And I mean, you'll see him on color. Yeah. And so you know, you know who I think would make a fantastic color commentary team? Hmm. Him and Moro Ronaldo. Yeah, Moro Ronaldo. I haven't got to like hear Moro because mm. I don't watch SmackDown. Right. But I love, I love more. Like, He's and, good. And, and his, and his, like, origin story is in pro wrestling commentary before he even went to Pride, yeah. and went to Strike Force and does boxing. Exactly. I don't know if he still does boxing stuff. Uh, yeah. Does, does he still he does. do all that? Yeah. Like he's, I like. Yeah. He has a good voice mm. yeah. for it, and he's been good on SmackDown. Yeah. So see, I should watch just for tomorrow because he tomorrow. is, he yeah. is cool. Um, but yes, I think that they would make a great commentary team someday to put the two of them together. Yeah. Done deal. Done deal. Um, yeah. all right. So we had that and yeah. we had Mark Henry and Swagger won that match in, like you said, under eight minutes. Yeah. Under eight minutes. And, uh, so wasn't, they get in the wasn't rumble. the best, although it wasn't, it wasn't the worst. It's, you know what? It's I mean, the, it's the I, pre-show I, as long I, as it's not. Yeah. Run of the mill wrestling match. Yeah. WWE wrestling it, match. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Something <clears throat> that you could have seen as the opening match on a Raw. Yeah. yeah. It's fine. Okay, starting off with main card, which mm-hmm. is, this was surprising to me because I, I, I didn't think that they were going to put this on at the beginning. It was Dean Ambrose and Kevin Owens. Last man standing for the Intercontinental Championship. Mm -hmm. And I would think the only reason that they would want to put this on first is as a gift to the guys in the match. Because they're like, you motherfuckers are in the Rumble later. So we're going to put this match on first, you're going to do it, and then you're going to go back and you're going to lay down. (laughs) And you're going to have a nap, because you're going to fucking need it. Yeah, Because you're in the Rumble later. Well, yeah. I guess, yeah. So, I, I guess uh, on that level, it's the only real reason that you know that 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 you would do that you would do it that way. Yeah, I mean, but I it, kind of expected the tag title match to go on first. I, but. I know, but I mean, you bring out almost the most uh, the most best match. It is. Oh yeah, on paper, I it's mean, the best match. Right? I mean, it, it rivals the Rumble itself. Mm, yeah. Yeah. No, I, I disagree it's, with that. It's hey, tough. I, D- Dean's my boy. The Rumble's the Rumble. <laughs> I, I mean, the Rumble is the <laughs> Rumble, but I mean, the Rumble itself has. Uh, th- there was some slow points in it. We'll get to the oh, Rumble. Yeah, for sure. We'll get to the but, Rumble. But I mean, the the stuff that they did in the match was magic. Oh, oh you're talking about the quality I mean, of the match that rivals the, the Rumble. Yes. Oh, I thought you meant importance. No. I under- no okay. The quality. My mistake. The I quality. get you. I get you. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. I'm, I'm on the same page now. I thought he meant like... No, like not the importance. Okay, not no. the importance. We good. I'm eating storm chips. I may agree. <laughs> it is <laughs> not even storm now. Uh-huh. Yeah. No, I really liked that match. Oh my god. It was so good. Like, these guys work so well together. They do. Put them on pay-per-view with each other for the next six months. It You're going to have it quality would, matches that's going to be different oh every god. single time. 
Like they're mm-hmm. they're really really the cool. amount of trust that they must have for each other. Or... Yeah. Well, like that that last spot, Oof. the last spot in the match. Yeah. Where the double like, table. Yeah. Where like Owens had the double table set up on the outside. Did he have? He had. Dean was laying across okay, chairs. Chairs. Wasn't he? Yeah. He was, yeah. He was laying yeah. across chairs, and Owens is like going up to do that. Yeah. And boom, I have no like... idea how a guy that yeah. in size yeah. does that moonsault. Away Owens is a marvel. He's unbelievable. He is he's like, unbelievable. He's like he's 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 <coughs> he's Bam Bam Bigelow and Vader <laughs> for the next like for this generation. Yeah, but way more athletic. He's yeah. he's got it because he's got a he's got a fun look, a fun personality, really good in the ring, and a badass finisher. Yeah, oh, his power bomb that. is gorgeous. I love that pop that that pop up power bomb mm. is so good. Um, but yeah, so he's going up to like do a moonsault to Ambrose, and he's like laying across like open chairs, and it's yeah. like, oh god, this is gonna be fucking brutal. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be unfortunate. And then Ambrose gets up and he just shoves him, and he does a flip, yeah, out to from the inside, from the top rope to the outside of the ring through those two tables, and that was your final spot. And uh, Ambrose wins the match, retains the title. Um, such a great match. It was great, really great match. Yeah. Uh... And I, see, here's the thing. I'm I'm glad that their their feud is over, as far as I know, for now. Yeah. Because like just because we've seen them a bunch, like it's been it's been really entertaining, and they go well together. But mm-hmm. I'm 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 done with it because they've been wrestling each other, and it's like okay, that's cool. Let's blow that off. That's fine. They had their thing. Mm-hmm. Um, but it was excellent. And to give some props to Dean, because we were like we were blowing Owens just now. Yeah, Dean, Dean's a good wrestler in normal matches. Like, don't get me wrong; he's a he's a good wrestler. He has his own style, and it's fun. Yep. Um, and he can do kind of an older way of wrestling. He can Ooh. do he can do more technical than he usually does, but he is a kind of a brawler, mm-hmm. kind of nuts. But you put him in a hardcore match, he excels. Yeah, oh, man. that's where he is the best. Like I've watched him in the indies being hung up on a cage and just like beaten with sticks and stuff yeah like, he's brutal so he does excel in these matches if wwe ever wanted to go down the road of bringing back the hardcore title yeah, yeah. dean ambrose is the poster boy for that oh division. for sure yeah the Hands poster down, boy. number one you could bring in you could run a storyline where like dean ambrose is has it would it would involve kind of a bit of a character, kind of a bit of a change of direction right. in his character. Yeah, yeah. He would have to go more John Moxley, like yeah. go more the way he was on the Indies, where he's a little more psycho, a little a little crazier. Yeah. But like you could bring in like <clears throat> not not just hardcore legends, but like you could bring in guys who are known for hardcore style. Like you can bring in like a Rhino. Like Rhino can still go. Oh yeah. You can bring in like. Well, or like bring in like one of the Dudleys or something like that, and you can have like ECW style, strong style, hardcore matches, as if as if Dean needs help getting over. But like this, yeah. th- that would really put like that would really get him over in the eyes of the fans. You have these guys who are known for hardcore that mm. put Dean over as like this guy is the hardcore, whatever. If WWE ever wanted to get like that. Road is wide fucking open. Yeah, for them. if oh, they wanted yeah. to do it, they won't. But I, if they I, ever I, wanted I to do it, so wish it's they wide would. open. Dean is brilliant, and I don't know why he gets shit on so much by the WWE. Like now, like right now, mm-hmm. it seems like they like him. Right. But in two months, he'll be back wrestling our truth, maybe or something. Yeah, and I hate that because he should be. Hovering up there all the time, right? All the time. Not, I'm not saying champ all the time. I'm just saying, like, he should be in. He should be at least in the conversation. There should always be that threat that Dean Ambrose is going to come out and win the title, right? Like, just like, and there's a lot of there's like, there's a bunch of people who deserve to be at that spot, and the WWE would be better if there was more people in that spot, right? So, but so I always fear being a big Dean fan that he's going to be pushed all the way back down again. It's true because they don't even let him talk. That's his best gift. Yeah, like, yeah. That's his gift to wrestling is his talking. And yeah, they, they don't, don't really. Then let they him, don't let him do it. They don't really have, no. They don't really let him have the mic time. That, they let Roman have it if they're together. Right. And it's like no, give it to Dean. Like, Roman can't talk. No, yeah, he like, can't. 
He still <laughs> can't he, talk let, great. Do what like, you did with the shield. Let Dean cut a promo right. and have Reigns come come in like at the end and say like one well, badass yeah, line. Yeah, exactly. Or like like one time like the one time in the shield when he was like you put us in the trenches. That's okay because we love being in the trenches or something like that. Right. And yeah, I was like, exactly. yes, Roman, yeah. yes. Like because we, yeah, we love we love the mud and <laughs> shit. Like yeah, absolutely. Just say like one or two cool ones, but let Dean do the heavy lifting and the talking. But yes, unbelievable match. Um, huge ups to Kevin Owens and huge ups to Dean Ambrose. Great match. Ambrose retains the title. True. Word. Twenty minutes, twenty one seconds, and, there, and that's and that's great. Right. Longest give match him, besides the Rumble. Give him twenty. Yeah. Give him twenty. Give him twenty five. Like let him go. Oh, they they can do it. Absolutely. They can definitely do it. So no, that no, I, I didn't feel like anything in that match was rushed. They took the time. They told the story. Can't, can't ask for anything more. Moving on, second match on the main card. Right. The new day. The new day. <laughs> Big e and Francesca Kofi. now. Big E and Kofi Kingston mm-hmm. with Xavier Woods <laughs> uh, versus the Usos. This was Nick's so least, crazy. This was Nick's least favorite match on the card because it's what just it? four black for the ta- <laughs> hey <laughs> for the tag team championship tag of the world. There you go. Um, I'm one that is going to eat crow. Oh no, he's going to say something I don't like. No, 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 no. Oh. I'm going to say something that you do like. Yay! Because I'm going <laughs> to eat. Yay! <laughs> I'm going to eat crow on the new day. Yes. Because I was one who initially really didn't like that gimmick. I thought it was embarrassing for Kofi Kingston. I thought he it deserved is. way more. It like, really, Kofi this is, is the, way the I, only this is the way one I that's start. That no, but together. let me let me just ask one thing. Okay, are you going all the way back to like their like right when they came back as a new day? Yeah. Or do you mean so you mean right? Oh no, then I agree because when they first came back mm-hmm. as a new day, right. when they were less heelish and less silly, right. yeah. yeah, they sucked. Right, that was terrible. But okay, so now I know where we're at. So yeah, yeah no, I agree with that. Um, but like even, but then even as as early as like a couple of months ago, I was still like, you know what, fucking new day. Da, da, da. Kofi deserves so much better than this. Kofi deserves a push to towards like the Intercontinental Title, towards like the main event. Like I mean, Kofi's a great whatever. He's a fun wrestler. I yeah. wish, I wish they would have ran with that whole Kofi Kingston Randy Orton thing. Yeah, so I feel like they could have run with that a lot more, and I felt like Orton probably could have gotten him over the right way and da 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 da. da. So I was like, oh, Jesus, Kofi's in the... Like, Big E, whatever. Xavier Woods, whatever. But, like, Kofi, really? Shit. But the longer it's gone on, it's worn me down, and it's worn me down, and it's worn me down. They're so goddamn entertaining. I know. I can't help it. Like, I'm... Kofi's <sighs> entertaining. Xavier Woods, I mean, friggin'... He just he, sells he, it. He, he sells it so it. well. They're all I mean, on point. Him, like, friggin', like... Crying, cap yeah. crying with this broken trumpet. Yeah, when just, uh, when <laughs> uh, God, who broke uh, Jericho. it? Jericho. Jericho. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but it's just like for the longest time, I was like, I want to deny it. I want to deny it, and I can't. And I'm gonna do it here for posterity. New day rocks. New day rocks. <laughs> New day rocks. <laughs> they do. There. I had to do it because New Day rocks. I've, I've been on their bandwagon for a while you since have. they since they started going that direction. Minus Big like, E. No, Big E is wonderful. No, oh, I love Big E. No. Big E, Big e no. like doing the dancing is no. fantastic. He's such a jerk. <laughs> I know. I love it. Like here's the thing about oh, the, here's man. the thing about the New Day. I can appreciate their talents, like any really any of the wrestlers, especially Kofi as a wrestler. I can yeah. appreciate that. I don't like it, any of them. Mm-hmm. Like the three of them, I didn't like any of them. But as the new day, I'm I'm digging it, and it just kept getting sillier and sillier. Yeah. And then I was just like, "This is so beautiful that they can come out these nobodies, basically, because they were never high in the you know, right." And Kofi more so than the other yeah. two, but yes, and they can come out and they can just they can be so entertaining. One of my favorite moments, and they do it frequently, but I didn't notice it at first. I was uh, this is when I loved uh, Seth Rollins was coming at <coughs> one time, right? Right. And you know his how his scene was different, different, right? Mm-hmm. And it cuts to them and they're head banging to his 
I lost it because they're they're so obnoxious, but yet they're still like clearly heels. Yeah, like, yeah you know absolutely. what I mean. They've managed to be both because you know sometimes when you get obnoxious, you become like a fan favorite, and they just well, I mean they are fan favorites, but right. you become like good guys mm-hmm. in a way because you're so obnoxious. But these guys are still they they'll remind you that they're heels. Yeah, Cause, absolutely. Because like I remember Xavier Woods. They I think they were telling him to play the trombone, I think. Yeah. I think it was during the rumble. And he's yes. like, I'll play when I play. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I just they're just good. They are, they're yeah. just good stuff. So I mean they've they yeah. they've sold me. Um the Usos, I love the Usos. I I legitimately think they're one of the best tag teams I've seen in they the are. last fifteen years. They, like they a definitely long need a push. Time. I mean, I don't know why they're keeping them the way that they are. Well, I mean, the problem with it is like they were, they were derailed for so long with injuries, and like now they're back, and it's kind of in a weird position because the um, because you have the new day, and the new day are kind of the new hotness, and yeah. the Usos are kind of looked at like they're old and busted. Ambulance, new day? sorry. Um, <laughs> New day, um, but yeah, like I, I, I think that is probably the Usos' problem is that they're they're kind of stuck behind New Day because everybody's all over New Day and they're kind of really, 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 really liking it. So I think that's like I mean that's the only if the Usos were in there against anybody else they wouldn't have gotten booed. Mm. I find them bland. Okay. Yeah, yeah, they're fine, I guess, but I find them bland and their lack of character is discouraging yeah because for a while there they were really pulling that like uso crazy shit Mm -hmm. and they were really talking it seemed like they were trying to kind of give them some personality because really they've been since i started watching wrestling again Mm -hmm. they've really just been a team that has puts on decent matches but doesn't really have any personality that's fair and that's why I'm having a, I have a hard time getting into the Usos. I think like mm-hmm. you can put them against New Day, and you know they'll they'll be a good match. So in that way, they're like, yeah, I appreciate them, but I don't like them. So the New Day go over, New Day goes the title. over, really good match. I quite I quite liked this match. I loved the way that it ended. Yeah, like the final spot of oh he's going for the frog splash, but oh Biggie catches him. <laughs> like I thought yeah. that was really well done. Um, what was the what was the length of the match time on that? One? Uh, we have ten minutes fifty three seconds. A little short for my taste for a tag match. A I would have maybe enjoyed a little bit more than that, but I mean, at this point, really, is like anything you add to any of these matches, you're almost have to take it away from the rumble. So yeah, so it, I'm I'm okay. I'm, I'm, I'm so I mean I'm I'm okay with it. It is on the main card the shortest match. Yeah. The, oh wow. Which, surprisingly enough, we'll get into this later, but the mm-hmm. Beavis match, mm-hmm. third longest. There you go. That's a good thing. That was a, That's a good thing. Yeah. In this case, giving them more than ten minutes, or giving them more than five minutes to do their yeah. shit. So, fourth on the card, Kalisto versus Alberto Del Rio. Piss Cup, break. Couple of botches from Kalisto, uh, unfortunately. Yes, yes. Um... Del Rio, it's got to be a little difficult for Del Rio, who is pretty well a natural born heavyweight, to to <laughs> work with a guy like Kalisto, who is definitely not. Yeah, um, I, I would think like I mean like Del Rio, I feel works better with heavyweights, but he was in the position where he has the U.S. title, so you know, oh, yeah, and they this put was on for Kalisto the U.S. And, title. Yes, yeah, no worries. Um, I'm I'm kind of glad Kalisto won. I like Kalisto. Mm. I like Kalisto better than I like Sin Cara, who just either can't, can't stay uninjured mm. um, for longer than two minutes. It seems. I figure that will be the feud. I figure when Kalisto co- or when um, when Sin Cara comes back, Sin Cara will feud with oh, Kalisto God, yeah. over the U.S. title. Which I think could result in some really great matches, or somebody with a broken neck. Yeah, um, one or the other, because you put kind of a little botchy in the ring with really super botchy, mm. and, <laughs> and 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 probably not going to equate to good things. Negative. I didn't Negative. care about this match really. So no, I, you, I, I got there, you said you, you said piss break. Yeah, I, got, I mean, I didn't. Like, I watched into it. Yeah, I was, whatever. Okay. <laughs> 
Anyways, uh, 11 minutes, 30 seconds. Right on. Not a terrible Not length bad, of time for a title match. You know, but... it's, uh, it is what it is. Yeah. Well, nobody was really invested into it all too Not much. Not super, no. It, it's definitely the... Uh... It was definitely the the quote unquote low point of the card. I would yeah. say in terms of in terms of fan interest, it was a fine enough match. Moving down the line, yep. Match number five: Charlotte with Ric Flair, <laughs> woo, woo, versus Becky Lynch. Not woo, but I like her. She, um, she is nice. She's uh, she's pleasant on the eyes. Body. Yeah, she is. So I mean, they, most of these girls are now. Um, I mean, I, I dig Charlotte. Like, I think she's, uh, I think Charlotte's a great talent. Um, I can't wait to see where this seems to be going because it seems like it's going in the direction of Charlotte and Sasha Banks. So I can't wait to see where that goes. Becky's still in the equation there, but I think Becky needs another couple of feuds to kind of get not not to get over but to mm-hmm. you know get a couple of feuds get more over and then go back for the title mm-hmm. um so i i, I might kind of like to see that but uh fine enough match um i mean charlotte's charlotte's obviously really talent, talent, blah, 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 talented and becky's mm-hmm. really talented and don't get me wrong i like charlotte mm-hmm. i would prefer Ric Flair to step back a little bit. Mm-hmm. I understand it is his daughter, but yeah, um, it's it's a little bit too much. It yeah, can be. I'm kind of okay with the gimmick, but uh, it, it's it's okay for me now. I hope that it's not like a really really long term thing because it's like okay, it's time to be your own wrestler. Yeah, Becky Lynch, um, talented in the ring said before pleasant on the eyes mm-hmm. um overall i enjoyed the match yeah i think in terms of some of the other divas title matches that we've had in the last 18 months mm. i'll take this over oh, most God, everything yeah. else mm. uh i'll take this over wwe trying to convince me that cameron or naomi Whereas, like, the number one... Yeah. Fuck, man. Really? Like, come on. So just just out of curiosity, before I, like, talk about my opinion on the match, because my, my opinion is the only one that matters, where's um both you guys? Your, who's your favorite diva, like, now? <sighs> Probably still Paige. Now? Yeah, like, just who's currently active. <sighs> Holy shit. Yeah, I, I still really like Paige, but... Uh, <clears throat> um. Charlotte would be a close second, I guess. Like Sasha's my girl. Right. I love Sa like I love her. I think she's amazing. So when like when her music hit afterwards, because like she was injured and yeah, I, like it was a surprise to me. I don't know if there was rumors that she was coming back or not, but it was a not surprise sure. to me. So when her music hit, by the way, she has like pound for pound one of the best themes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but when her music hit, I was like, yes, we're getting it. We're getting Banks versus Charlotte, or Banks versus Charlotte versus Becky, and that's that's what I want because Sasha's been getting shit on a little. Yeah. Like she wasn't on TV for some weeks, and she's not really getting the moment to shine. But she's so good in all respects. Yeah. So she's my favorite. So like the end of the match was awesome to me. Yeah, and the match was fun. Like they're they got a talented group of girls for sure. And well, the new they're... ones. More yeah, so. and now they're like they're kind of giving them the time that they kind of need slash deserve mm. in order to do what they need to do. So that that, well, that mean, definitely helps. It, it's true, and I mean they're giving them the time because the ones now can wrestle. I mean it's not just going to be hair pulling and right and shit in the ring. Exactly. Yeah, it's an actual wrestling match, which it should be. Yeah. Yeah. yeah totally. As for my favorite diva, I can't answer that right now. I also like Paige a lot. She's like my second. Paige. Paige. So you're not sure? I'm not sure. I mean, wow. sure. Right on. Word. All right. Interesting. 11.41? Yeah. Or did you want to read that? Read it, Nick. <laughs> Time, 11.41. <laughs> there you go. Nailed it. 